Hey guys, it's Oggy back again with another video. And this time, I just want to re reiterate how important it is to test your tank before you do things. As you guys know, I've cut down my feeding slightly and I started dosing Nopox. Now with the feeding, I actually decided to just break the feeding up into more sessions. Instead of feeding once a day, I'm feeding two to three times a day, but still the same amount, which has actually worked out a lot better. Secondly, with the Nopox dosing, I was dosing less than half recommended and I only dosed it for three days. On the first day, I saw no change. On the second day, as you can see, there's barely any algae left up there. Go away, silly clownfish. But on the second day, the algae was going white and going away and there's a lot less on the sand bed. There's no cyano, there's no, a lot less visible signs of algae, as you can see. But the bad thing is, after t on the third day today, I've noticed that some of my SPS are starting to bleach out. Now, that really sucks. This guy is starting to turn white. He had a blue shimmer to him. The guy back there on the circle plug was green and now he's white. And then there was one more that I saw. Okay, that green Monty right there, as you can see, it was new growth, but now it is actually starting to uh, turn white. And now, that is directly because I've dropped my nitrates co to completely zero. That's right, the coral have has nothing to feed off. There's zero nitrate in the system again, which I should have foreseen coming. It's happened before. Um, when you have no nitrate and no phosphate in your system, well, no nitrate for me in this case, your coral can actually start to bleach. You want to keep it at around 2 to 5 ppm. So what I've, after three days, I've actually taken off the... Uh, NOPX because it's done more damage than good. Now hopefully my color will come back quickly because I've again stopped stopped dosing the stuff. I'm gonna feed some refroids, some pollock booster, I'm gonna up my feeding slightly to get the nitrates up a little bit. And basically what I've decided to do after trading some coral in is to um go the natural way, which I should have done with from the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is let this guy do his thing, and if that doesn't work within the next couple of days, I'm gonna manually get in there, pluck the stuff out and do a water change and just let the system get do its thing and just I know it's gonna get there, I know it's gonna look fine so final summary, make sure you guys test, don't jump into things, you will do damage to your system hope you guys enjoyed this quick video update, thanks for watching